My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about uh, two strokes. We're talking about a two stroke test, uh, the two stroke pressure test, that, or a leak down test, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it seems to be a thing that I don't see anybody doing, and it is almost stupid that people don't do it. Why is it stupid? What is the test? And that's what we're going to go through. So, you have a um, cylinder, a cap, and a bottom bit. And then you have an intake, and then you have an exhaust. Exhaust, in, head, bit in the middle. And your two stroke uh, uses uh, pressure differentials so your reeds um, basically will open and close depending on which side of the reed has the he has the higher pressure just as simple as that and because this is a very um, pressure dependent system then it needs to be sealed and generally on most two strokes motorcycles let's not go the four stroke route is that there is a break there, there's a break there, and there's a break there, and then there's also um, a break down the middle, but this is usually horizontally, um, uh, vertically not horizontally in most cases, but the fact of the matter is, is that you can see there's all these split lines, and this is exactly where air just loves to piss out. Piss out there, piss out there, piss out everywhere. So, oh, and, 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 you have a spark plug hole there as well. So, air can piss out everywhere, and I've done some videos, and I'll, I'll dig out the footage now, and I'll just show you um, some of the things I'm talking about. So, oh no, I didn't do a video, I think it's just images, what I've done in the past. But basically what I do is I get a spark plug and I basically gut that spark plug so I'm just a little bit left with the threaded end. I then get an airline fitting, I then weld the two together, I then pressure test that to make sure that that's not leaking. Uh, you know, it's not a shitty weld or a porous weld or anything like that. And then what I do is I've made some blanking plates and what have you. Now you can use your reed itself if you want, um, just to make sure your reed itself isn't leaking. Um, but you know, people say, oh, there's gaskets and there's, um, you know, you put your fucking Hylomar sealant all around it. That still doesn't mean that it's not going to leak, that there isn't a, Brit a, bit, a, a bit of grit or shit in there that's just slightly opening the door and fucking air will find a way. So the whole point of the test is, is that you have to basically fabricate some little blanking plates. As long as they're thick and stiff and can take the pressure, you don't need to go very high, you know, you only need to go to 15, 20 psi maximum nothing crazy um, it does help if you have a uh, pressure gauge actually fitted so you can put it on your inlet or your exhaust um, it is a good idea to make sure that your uh, piston is in the middle of it uh, at the bottom of the stroke should I say sorry try and make sure your pistons at bottom dead center I'll write that on the board um, and the, the only reason why I do that is to make sure that your um, transfer ports are open. It will squirt by because obviously there's a gap in a ring and all the rest of it. Uh, obviously you do do this, you know, people say, can I do this without all the gubbins inside, like pistons and stuff? No, because this check is when you've actually done the assembly. But basically all you do is just blank off your exhaust, you blank off your inlet and usually have a, you can have a pressure feed there if you want. Um, but I used to put a, a, a pressure gauge at the actual inlet and that's one thing you can do you see you can um, have your reed block still on uh, so if I, you've got your engine casing like this just say and then you have your reed like this and then you can have an extra block on there if you want to cap this off and then have a pressure gauge here um, so you can actually test if your reeds are back leaking because if there's higher pressure in here once you pump it into the system then the pressure here should basically be the, the you know 
You can also measure how much your reeds are leaking. Um, you know, generally there will be a slight bit of leak. There's nothing really, you know, to panic about or worry about, just as long as it's not pissing out. I don't know why people don't do this test. It's quite simple. As soon as you get the setup done, you know, it's not really that difficult to do. And how do you find out it's leaking? Bottle of jism with some soapy water in it and you just squirt around and see if you can see any bubbles forming out or what have you. You know, people are after squeezing every single bit out of uh, their engines. One of the problems if you do have a leak is when there is a vacuum, or I hate saying vacuum, when there's a lower pressure inside your crankcase than outside on the intake um, when your piston is travelling up, uh, if there's an air leak then this is air without the fuel so this can actually lean out your bike this is why it's important you might think well fucking hell it's going you know stupid speeds and all the rest of it why does it matter because because of that rapid speed it can actually start sucking air in and it'll lean out your mixture and you can start having problems it's a test that most people don't do it's quite a simple test it's quite a low tech test you can even fit a Schrader valve or something like that for a fucking push bike and pump it up with a you know with a manual fucking bike pump or a foot pump. You don't have to have a compressor and you know a tire gauge thing or whatever or air feed lines. There are low tech ways that you can actually do it. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.